Hi to all. In this video, we'll be marking the book back answers for 10th standard social science, geography, lesson 2, climate and natural vegetation of India. Now, we shall start from choose the correct answer. First question, western disturbances cause rainfall in dash. The answer is Punjab. Second one, dash helps in quick ripening of mangoes. Along the coast of Kerala and Karnataka, the answer is mango showers. And you can see the words mango and mangoes in, in the question and answer will help us to remember this one. Third question, dash is a line joining the places of equal rainfall. Usually equal is referred with ISO and rainfall is heights, so ISO heights. Fourth one, climate of India is labeled as dash. It is tropical monsoon climate. Answer is tropical monsoon climate because India is located in the tropical zone and it is influenced by the monsoon winds. So, India experiences tropical monsoon climate. Fifth question, the monsoon forests are otherwise called as dash. B. Deciduous forest. Monsoon forests are otherwise called as deciduous forest. Actually, deciduous forests, they shed their leaves during the uh, summer season and they are full of leaves during the rainy season. So, monsoon forests are very greenish during the monsoon and they drop their leaves during the uh, non-rainfall season or the dry season so we call them as the deciduous forest sixth one sesha salam hills a biosphere reserve is situated in andhra pradesh seventh one dash is a part of the world network biosphere reserves of unesco as per this question we have three options nilgiris Agastya Malai and Great Nicobar, all the three are the biosphere reserves of UNESCO. But when compared with uh, Tamil medium textbook, we can see that Dash is not a part of the World Network Biosphere Reserve. So, the answer you can change the question or you just go through the question clearly before answering and answer the question accordingly how it is asked. Match the following. Sundarbans, it is located in West Bengal. Second one, biodiversity hotspot, the Himalayas. Third one, northeast monsoon, October to December. Northeast monsoon is uh, between October to December. Tropical thorn forest. Thorn forest, they are the desert and semi-desert vegetation. Coastal forest, it is also known as the littoral forest. Consider the given statements and choose the correct option from the given below. We have the assertion and reason. First one, assertion the Himalayas act as a climatic barrier. We have already seen in the first lesson. Importance of Himalayas. Himalayas acts as a climatic barrier. So, assertion is right. Reason, will check what the reason they say. The Himalayas prevents cold winds from Central Asia and keep the Indian subcontinent warm. Give options for this question. So, you can see, because it prevents the cold winds from Central Asia, Indian subcontinent is warm. That is also right. So, answer is A. Both A and R are true. R explains A. Choose the inappropriate answer. Here when you read the question alone by itself, we have the tendency to mark the answer wrongly. But what we have to see is the heading what is given. Choose the inappropriate. Inappropriate means the answer which is not matching for these. So now the tidal forests are found in and around. Tidal 
refers to the places near the oceans tides are related with oceans and sea and so here tidal forests are found in and around wherever we have the deltas but what is inappropriate is the answer is desert next question of the same sort climate of india is affected by so we have the options latitudinal extent altitude distance from the sea all these affect the climate of india but soil does not affect the climate of india answer in brief list the factors affecting the climate of india the answer is in page number 144 here you can see this the factors affecting the climate first paragraph the climate of india is affected by the factors of latitude altitude distance from the seas monsoon wind relief features and jet streams next question what is meant by normal lapse rate what is meant by normal lapse rate here under the site heading in page number 144 altitude when the altitude increases here the word altitude means height so as we go upper and upper or higher and higher when the altitude increases the temperature decreases the temperature decreases at the rate of 6.5 degree centigrade for every 1000 meters of ascent ascent means raising above this is called normal lapse rate next question what are jet streams what are jet streams the answer is in page number 145 you can see you have a separate side heading for jet streams jet streams are the fast moving winds blowing in a narrow zone in the upper atmosphere that is usually we think winds blow near the land but there are a set of winds which blow in the upper part of the atmosphere we call them as the jet streams next question write a short note on monsoon winds write short notes on monsoon winds again we have in the same page 145 in the side heading monsoon here you can see the whole paragraph been marked and very important uh, points to remember here is the arabic word mausim which means season and the arab navigators who used this word for referring the seasonal winds which blow in the arabian sea next question name the four distinct seasons of india four distinct seasons of india here we have under the side heading seasons in page number 146 first one the winter season from january to february second one summer season march to may third one southwest monsoon or rainy season from june to september fourth one northeast monsoon season from october to november sixth question what is burst of monsoon or you can have the same question as what is monsoon burst instead of burst of monsoon they can even ask it as what is monsoon burst the answer is in page number 147 here in this paragraph just below the map the sudden approach of monsoon wind over south india with lightning and thunder is termed as the break of break or burst of monsoon next question name the areas which receive heavy rainfall the heavy rainfall regions are here you have 
distribution of rainfall paragraph the first second uh, first line in the second paragraph the western coast assam south meghalaya tripura nagaland and arunachal pradesh are the heavy rainfall areas which get more than 200 cm rainfall i am showing you this map for a reference this map is the natural vegetation but all these places where you have this green color these are the places where we have evergreen forest but actually these evergreen forest are found in places where we have heavy rainfall so these are the places where we have the heavy rainfall of more than 200 cm every year eighth question state the places of mangrove forest in india answer is in page number 151 here you have under the side heading tidal forest the delta of the ganga brahmaputra has the largest tidal forest the deltas of mahanadi godavari and krishna rivers are also known for tidal forest these are also known as mangrove forest now uh, just for your reference we have different names for the same kind of forest which are found near the sea shore we call them as the tidal forest we call them as the littoral forest and also as mangrove forest next question write any five biosphere reserves in india answer is in page number 151 you can see here biosphere reserves in india paragraph you have 11 biosphere names given here and you can choose any five out of them gulf of mannar nanda devi the nilgiris nokrek panchmarhi simlipal sundarbans agastya malai great nicobar kanjanjanga and amarkantak out of these 11 you can choose any five of your choice next one distinguish between uh here we already see that we have two points to write so weather and climate page number 145 and it is given under the side heading do you know you have only one points for this in this page so just you write this one point for each first paragraph is for weather and the second paragraph is for climate next to distinguish tropical evergreen forest and deciduous forest in page number 148 tropical deciduous and tropical evergreen forest you have it in two different paragraphs so here tropical evergreen forest the first point these forests are found in areas with 200 cm or more rainfall second point is the temperature referring the temperature the same way here you have for deciduous forest the first point refers the amount of rainfall with 100 to 200 cm of rainfall the second point is referring to the temperature found in this region third question northeast monsoon and southwest monsoon so here we have to i leave it to you now for you to choose the answers for this you have the northeast monsoon in page number 147 and southwest monsoon in page number 146 you can choose the points one can be about from when to when they blow so here you can see they start from the first week of june and here for northeast monsoon they start from every in the north from the end of september so like this you can find the places find the years uh, months and then you can mark the places where they give heavy rainfall okay so this is for your for you to do by yourself next one give reasons give reasons western coastal plain is narrow this 
answer is not this question is not related with this lesson but we can get the answer from the first lesson the western coastal plains are narrow because they are just next to the eastern coast uh, uh, western ghats and same way there are no west flowing rivers which can form deltas so we have a very narrow western coastal plains second one india has a tropical monsoon climate as india is located in the tropical region and its climate is influenced by the monsoon winds india has a tropical monsoon climate i am saying the answer again as india is located in the tropical zone and its climate is influenced by the monsoon winds india has a tropical monsoon climate third one mountains are cooler than plains and we have seen the answer for this in one of one of our assertion you can see here altitude as we go higher and higher the temperature decreases and so hence the places in the mountains are cooler than the places on the plains this is the answer for the third give reason and as usually i say you can write the detail answers by yourself each of the detail answer is given under one side heading so we shall finish this and all the best thank you all